If you've ever been to a science museum, you've probably seen one of those cool tornado machines where there's some smoke generated and that's blown around like a tornado. And you can play with it, blow it away, see what happens. That's really cool and they look super mysterious. But they're a lot easier to make than you'd expect. Let's build one. I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today we're making a tornado machine. Here my panels all cut and now I need to make two boxes from it, one for the bottom and one for the top. So let's do this. And since I'm gonna paint it I'm just gonna glue and staple them together. It's the easiest way to make quick boxes. That's not how I want it. So it turned out this thing which is supposed to look like this doesn't lock anymore which causes all my staples to bind up in here or I think it was the other way around all my staples were binding up in here for some reason and then now this doesn't lock anymore luckily I have cool friends and I could borrow another one let's go on three quarters done but in this panel I need to drill a hole where the switches will be right over here so and that's just a lot easier doing it right now. I don't know what it is, but the first nail gun broke. And then I borrowed one from a friend. I did these couple of nails with it and it also broke. So, but they're a lot easier to make than you'd expect. Those were my only options. So the only option I have left are these things. You can ask your parents or your grandparents what they are. And it's gonna be a bit of a tedious job, but at least it'll get done. So let's do this. thing is that now I have this box which is still very wobbly I can use the top and bottom panel to pull this square so now it's probably not square but these ones are so you can just put this on here nail one side and then align the rest and put it all square really easy but before I do that I'm gonna cut a hole in the top and the bottom for the fan on the top the fan on the top is there to pull all the vapor up. So you have the tornado with the fan in the bottom and then the fan in the top pulls it all up to get a nice shape. These boxes are almost done but before I'm gonna completely close them and paint them and everything I need to drill the holes in the corners on the bottom and on the top as well where the tubes will fit. So then I have the tubes in here, sticking through to the inside and then with this fan I'm gonna pressurize the box. So I need to cut a hole in the back as well to put the fan in and this is a, and this is a blower fan and these fans can actually give some pressure unlike the other fans. So this is gonna be somewhere around here and then I need to glue this box in over here. And that's where we're going to make the water vapor. So we're going to pressurize the box and then that way the air blows through the tubes. Let's make these holes first. Holes are drilled. Two of the back pieces, two of those back pieces came out because I was not patient enough for the glue to dry and I didn't have any nails to drive in. So but I will do them, I will fix them after the painting. If I glue them on now and I put it over, they will drop again. So after painting, we're gonna put those in. So the only thing left for painting is putting this behind there and to sand it all. But I won't bother you with the sanding. 
For this I'm going to try to reverse nail it. Is that a thing? I'm going to put some nails in here, then I'm going to put this on the top. And I'm going to hammer this on the nails. Because I cannot hold it like this and then nail it in. See if that works. That didn't work, so I'm just going to glue it in and give this whole patience thing a try. I tried it before, I didn't really enjoy it. But we'll see this time. I was expecting this to be dry by now, but it's still a bit tacky. Luckily, there's more to need to do. So what I'm gonna do now first is I'm gonna make the cover for here. It's gonna be a circle that covers this hole where the vapor is being made. And I'm gonna make the back panels and the tubing. So there's lots to do. Let's start by that cover. This is regular PVC tube from the hardware store that I marked every two centimeters and I also marked the straight line so that the holes will be fairly straight. I made a little jig but it's still hard because you can you still have this freedom. But it seems to go alright. Now this top box main function is to hold this fan which pulls all the water vapor up. The thing I need to do is to mount this fan in here and I miscalculated it a little bit. I'm not sure why or how it happened but my idea was that the stop box would be this thick, just as thick as the fan. And now well, it's way thicker. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in and then I'm gonna cover this bottom hole later with some sort of fine mesh or something. That's for a solid. It's actually easier now. I was planning on gluing this, but it's such a nice friction fit that it's going nowhere. So that's nice. I just need to make a hole in here for the wire to run through so it can go behind the back and be invisible. Just need to figure out what's going to be the front and what's going to be the back. Ooh, this is going to be the back. Yeah, like this. I always thought it'd be cool to get some of my fans in the video. But I have more fans than just this one. Let's get the other one. This fan is the fan I'm gonna use in the bottom box. Voila. And that's gonna be used to blow the air through the tubes. And this fan is a different fan because the fan I have there works good to move a lot of air. But those kind of fans are not good to compress air or to put pressure against it. I tried it with that one, narrowing the diameter and then it's still turning but it's not blowing air anymore. These ones are also called blower fans. They're really good for blowing. Lots of air. So that's why I'm gonna put this one in. I should have drilled a hole in here before I painted it but I rushed, I forgot it. So. I guess now it's the right time. For this fan it is important that it's all sealed up because the whole principle of the thing is that we put pressure on this box. So if we don't seal it up, all the air is gonna leak here. So we're making a box that makes a tornado. All cool. But how are we gonna see it? Well, water vapor. You have these things that are ultrasonic water foggers or something, they're called something like that. And the cool thing is there's an element here that vibrates, ultrasonic, hence the name. And when it does that it makes the really dense water vapor that you can sometimes see on laying on top of water in, in some sort of bowl in people's household. But I think one's a bit lame and I got five of them. So I'm gonna put five of these into this little tub 
and make the water vapor. That's all going to be in the bottom. So hopefully this will give me a nice amount of water vapor to see the actual tornado. Let's wire it up. Okay, without the lid, it was a little bit messier than I had anticipated. There's <laughs> water everywhere. So I made this lid, put a hole in it, and see if that allows the vapor to go out and the water to stay in. It's a lot better. Didn't really choose my electronics right, so for in this box I need a 12 volt power supply and a 24 volt power supply. This one is on 12 volts, the LEDs I'm gonna use are on 12 volts, but the water vapor thingies, they're on 24 volts, so I should have paid more attention. Anyway, two power supplies that I need to go in here. And then over here, I'm gonna make the panel for the switches. I'm gonna have a switch for the top fan, for the bottom fan, for the lights, etc. And I'm gonna make that on the CNC. So. Let's go to the CNC and when we come back, these are in. There's no real need for me to make this part on the CNC, but I just got it and I want to test it. So let's do this. If you don't have a CNC, you can also do it on a bandsaw or with a router. Check it out, super nice, clear, so you can see the inside. And I think with these buttons, it's gonna look really cool. I have these big buttons, I could have used smaller ones, but I think these just look really fancy. And for a big machine like this, you don't want the little flimsy buttons. You want real buttons, like this, switches. So, need to countersink these, so I can use some nice screws to mount it. And then I'm gonna mount the switches. And by the way, look at that. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. How cool is that? So, it's gonna be lights, vapor, top fan, and this one actually has a click in it. And with this one, you can regulate the speed for the fans that make the rotary motion. Hopefully, I'll get some adjustment out of that. I'm not sure. Let's wire this all up and see if we can test it. Most of the electronics are in here now. The reason I want to put it all together now is because I still have to wire the top fan and the LEDs and I cannot do that when they're not together. So let's put this like this. And this is the moment for the tubes. Hope they fit. This. Almost. But the fit is really snug and it doesn't work yet. So I think I have to send these out a little bit. That's it. That one works. Light works. Light, fan, blower. Oh yeah, that works. It's a little bit, this is there. I think, I think I need the cover. I've removed the lid of the canister completely, allowing the air to go around all the moisture and the vapor. And I've added this one. Now this, in the room where the water canister is in, there is um, a hole for the wires. That hole 
puts pressured air inside that canister because this whole box is pressurized. That actually helps us. I'll show you. So now I'm making vapor, but you don't see any vapor. But if we wait a little bit and it's ready, this one on, and you turn on the blower fan, wait what happens here. How nice is that? If you like this project, check out the link over there and I will see you there. Until then, dare to experiment and become the maker that you want to be.